Hello guys, today I show you the basic gut pass move open girl. Like I showed in other video, you wanna make the gut pass sequence in order for you to be able to connect techniques to each other. Then today I show you how to make good pace and posture against a spider girl. Spider girl is kind of one of basic open girls. Especially for beginners, it's very important to understand how to make a good position. Let's get started. So like I showed before, like in other video, I already showed basic gut passes like outside pass like this, inside, knee slap and leg drop like this. It was not a bit difficult, as just because the opponent doesn't do anything for me. So this time, it's like a, we're gonna start with one step before you wanna go, okay? So here, he makes spider, this position, okay? I can do the basic movement like I showed you, as he controls me with the spider like this. So the first thing first, you have to maintain a good base and a posture before you attack. Okay. This time I cannot make a good posture. As he makes spider, he can kick me side to side. Like this. Because even though I try to say good base, he can break my balance. So that's the first thing. I slightly take a step back. Like this. See, at the moment I'm above his hips. That's why he can easily carry my way side to side. Look. I take a step back, then I slightly squat down. As I do so, it's getting hard for him to carry me side to side. Try that. This. Okay, this is how you make a base. Next one, you wanna make a good posture as well. But as you can see, he makes spider. That means it's pretty difficult for me to make a posture. Now I need to remove his spider. Okay, the first, I make grips on the pants like this. See, that's right around the shin. Once I set up, I take step back a little bit more, and then I'm gonna take it off one by one. Okay, I start with my right arm. I take a step back, then I slightly move my body to the side. As soon as I move, I shoot his leg off, like this, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I need to shift my body weight to the other side. And then I take it off. As you can see, I've already removed the spider with good pace and posture, like this. Then I can neutralize the position. You can start with making grips as well, like this, okay? This time, obviously, you cannot reach a rise knees, which is not necessary to do as well. I just grab here. Then I will pull his pants towards me like this. And then I can squeeze his head. That's gonna be a little harder for him to play a spider. Can kick me side to side. Look, I close my elbow, not driving my weight on him like this. Of course, this is gonna be a lot of pressure on him, but at the same time, as I lean on him, he can kick me side to side to break my base. Okay? I go out of sleep, I close my elbows, and then I take a step back slightly. Look. So this time he can now kick me side to side. Try that. Even his feet are stuck like this, okay? Then from this position, I move my body to the side, then I take it off. Then I make the momentum with my shoulder first control. Okay? So here, look, I start tracking my shoulder and then I take it off. Once I take it off, I will keep his foot away from me. Look, I punch the grip like this. Okay, I do the same thing. I take a step to the other side and then I move my shoulder first. As soon as I move, I take it off. As you can see, I straighten my arms to keep his legs away from me. Then, I make a good pace and posture. There, I'm ready for the gun pass. Alright, from that, I should gun pass step by step. So, right after we move his spine like this. The easiest way is outside pass. Okay, as you can see, I already push his legs away from me. I don't get my control my legs yet. That's why I can take a step to the side like this as well. Okay, and then from now, I come to the side. As soon as I come to the side, I pull his right leg to the side to open his frame. This. Okay, as soon as I open, I'm gonna cut into the new belly. Okay, I'm gonna take a step with my right leg. Like this, okay? Look, I still keep on holding his pants like this to control his legs, okay? Now, I don't mind to get control my sleeves as well, see? He may keep on gripping my sleeves like this, but it's okay. Once I make this position, he cannot regain a position. Okay, can you get back to the girl? Look, it's impossible to do it. Realistically, he wants to raise the grip to the hip escape. Can you do that? Like this. But, obviously, I can move much faster than him. I'm on my feet, he's on his back. Then, I can pass the girl. Now, in order for me to the gun, as I said, pass smoothly, I need to make the axis point. That is my arms. Look. I slightly lean on him, like on his legs like this. 
and then I take a step to the side. One, okay? So when I time I come to the side, I push his leg to the side. Look, I open his frame, okay? As soon as I open, I do one more step to cut in, like this, okay? It's really common, like uh, if you rush to control your opponent, you may risk the like this, to control his upper body. As you can see, he can do hip escape, he can do spin his leg. Then, he's going to recover position, which is not good for me. That's why until I make him calm down, I keep the ribs on his pants, and then I dominate his guard. Sometimes, you may not be able to open the flame as he tries to keep his knee tight on his shoulders like this. But you can still do the outside pass, okay? I do six steps as like before, this. But this time, as you can see, his knees are really close to his shoulders. This. There's no space at all. So this time, instead of pulling his leg, I just want to push his legs to the side like this. Like making him sideways, okay? You can find a space even though you open his frame around here, okay? What I like is put my shit in here. As you can see, I don't open his frame yet, but as I make him sideways, I put my shin on his rib cage. Then I pass his guard. Then probably from this position, he wants to regain a position by the hip escape, but I don't allow him to do any his grips like this, okay? As long as I lift up his legs, he cannot do hip escape, even though he wants to do. He keeps his knees so tight, okay? In this case, I do the same thing as like people here. You can find a space, right? Now you just want to lean on him. Look how I keep my arms straight. Look, then I come to neon belly like this, okay? Just in case he may escape to the turtle in this situation, right? Now, now you can approach the back. Back tick, I already showed in the other video. Okay, last one is about outside passes. I approach from outside frame like this, okay? So, as he does like a pass, he's more like opening his legs like this, okay? That I cannot find a space to do that. But on the other hand, there's been water spaces opening inside spring. So I change approach, I do inside pressure pass. Okay? I keep his legs at the same spot. And then, instead of taking a step outside, I do cross step with my right leg. That comes behind his right knee. Look. One. And then, I do one more step to make an inside base like this. Okay? As you can see, I change the base from my feet to this type of like kneeling base. This is a kind of inside pressure pass, so I have to secure space inside spring. So I change the grip. I'm gonna raise my right hand, and then I hug his hips, or I cup his hip bone like this. I prefer to hug his hips with my armpit like this, okay? Then once I set up, I'm gonna hug his neck, or I just grab his elbow joint like this, okay? After I go like this, I just switch. I slam my right up. Look. I'm straddled up from his guard, okay? After I go like this, I do hip escape to stabilize his hips. And then I stabilize the position. Especially this time, his knees are wide open. Then it's a bit difficult for me to do outside step passes. I shift to inside. Then I have to do cross step. I'm not gonna put my knee in the middle like this, okay? I still go all the way to the other side, here. Then I come to the position. Then this position, what he wants to do is use his left shin to block me like this. Once it happens, you can no longer do outside step pass. So in order for you to avoid is keep his leg away with the grip like this. But you cannot keep this position for a long time, so that's why you switch your right arm. Okay, from now, get your hand in like this. Or this. Sometimes you may not have time to hug his torso with your armpit. So in that case, you can use your palm to control his hips like this. Then you want to use your right arm in multiple ways, right? You cup his hips like this, plus you even use your elbow to block his thigh. As you make this type of frame, he cannot slide his chin in, even though he wants to do, you can secure space inside his frame. Pull his elbow, and then you're gonna slide out. Then I want you to be careful of the direction. Even though you wanna slide up, you're not gonna go forward. Okay, actually once, this is the reason it's no good to do. If I slide up forward, there's gonna be a gap between me and him, look. I may be able to slide out, but he's be able to slide as well like this. I was too high to pay him. That's why I need to move to the side. As if I change my knee direction this way. And then I slide out to the side, go forward. 
Okay, this position, I slide out like this. As soon as I slide out, this is gonna be a battle. I wanna pin him, and he wants to escape. Seems like it's to control him. Approach his upper body like this. This is really common. When I time I do, he can do hip escape. Then, you lose the position. Especially right after you slide out, what you have to do is control his hips to kill his hip escape. Always momentum comes from hips when he does hip escape. So, as soon as I slide out, so as if I connect my hips on his hips. So here, I do the hip escape. Look, I do move back myself. And then I can kill the hip escape. Even though he wants the hip escape, I'm gonna do the same thing. Look how I connect my hips on his hips. He cannot find a space at all. Then, after I make him calm down, I start approaching his upper body like this. 